So I'm feeling like a bit of an overachiever right now. I had somebody ask for questions on how to create a hyperlink, so I made a YouTube video. And then I thought to myself, I need to show them how to upload a YouTube video. So I'm going to use that video as the explanate, as the example. So here we are in YouTube. If you've never done this before, it's first going to ask you to set up your channel, which is like two clicks, and it just means that you've never set it up before. So let's not worry about that too much. I do have a video that you can watch if you'd like to go deeper into that topic. But now that my channel is set up, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on the little video camera with the plus on it. And it's going to ask if I want to upload a video or go live. Well, I am not going live. I'm going to upload a video. And not the video that I'm recording right now, but the video that I just recorded on how to create hyperlinks. So I'm going to find that one and I'm going to open it. So up to the cloud it goes. So this happens on every time, it happens every time that I'm uploading a video. So creating, and I started all of these with mash B, PD, creating hyperlinks. How to turn text or images into hyperlinks. All right. So I don't have to upload a thumbnail for this one. For the 28 classes that you've taken, I did create custom thumbnails, which is like a tiny picture that shows up on YouTube before your video plays. I did not create a custom one for this, so we're gonna see what YouTube comes up with. You can see that these three options are starting to think through what they're gonna offer me. I already have a link for my YouTube video, but I'm going to ignore that for now, and you can tell that it's uploading. So I'm going to scroll down, and this is going to go into a playlist that I've already created, which is Mashbee PD 2020. If I needed to create a new playlist, like 2021, I could. I also have one for individual tutorials, which, there we go, I'll put that one in there as well. I think that the video I'm uploading will be beneficial to both the individual that I'm helping as well as um, the folks that are in Mashbee. I'm going to click Done. Now, this is a question that's new. I'd say maybe nine months or so ago, they came out with the big question as to whether or not your video either contains kids or is made for kids. So mine is not, it does not have any kids in it, and I'm not trying to target our students at all. I'm not trying to help them. So I'm gonna click no. If I needed an age restriction, that's an option as well, but we don't need that. I'm going to click on more options and I'm going to scroll down. I could add tags like YouTube or editing or I can't think of any. I'm not going to add any. And I'm going to leave my English here and I'm going to leave my caption alone for right now. That's something I'm going to go back to. And then my recording date and location. I've been pretty consistent with this. So my recording date is today and I'm at home. So I'm going to do Parkwood. Oops. Parkwood Beach. It comes up as the only option and it will capitalize it for me. I don't touch the license because I'm fine if people want to use my stuff and just give attribution. I always make sure that my category is education and down here you can decide if you want to be able to allow comments or to be able to show how many viewers like or dislike your video. I generally leave these on for my adult learners but if I'm working with student learners like under 18, then I shut a lot of this off. There's no need to have it on. I click next. This next page are more for advanced people who are creating videos to make money. You're trying to add an end screen or add cards. It's something that we might revisit down the road, but it is not necessary for our basic videos that are just trying to instruct students or teachers to learn something new. I'm going to hit next one more time. I'm almost done actually. It's still processing my video. I already have the link to the video. This little icon here copies it. I'm actually going to click it now so I can share it with that teacher. And then I'm going to create my video as being unlisted. Private means for pretty much only me or the people that I put into the document or the video are allowed to see it. It's not searchable. It's not findable. It's not part of your playlist. It's like nowhere to be found unless you are specifically invited to it. Unlisted means that anybody can see it if they have the link. 
And if they share the link with anybody, then all of those anybody's can see it too. And then public means not only can anybody anybody see it, but they can search for your video and find it. So I'm leaving it as unlisted. I'm not going to schedule it, and I really don't even know what an instant premiere is. I'm not that fancy. So they're making sure, did I double check my kids, and did I double check for overall um, content guidance? So I said that it was not for kids, and I'm not worried about the content guidance because it's appropriate. It's still processing, and it has two minutes less left, but I can still hit save. And it will tell me that it's still processing. I cannot close my YouTube window, but I can close this working window here. And it will eventually, you can tell, that it's starting to show up here in my list of channel videos. You can also see that I've created some that have that special page that starts at the beginning where others I haven't really been all that fancy with cover pages. So this one will continue to process until it's done and then I'll be able to have that teacher view that tutorial that I've created. Hopefully this is helpful.